Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. A couple weeks ago I was out thrifting because I was looking for baby clothes. Speaking of babies, you might be able to hear my baby in the background. So <laughs> he's playing and sorry if it makes noise. So we were out thrifting for some baby clothes and everything in the whole store was 50% off. Everything is 50% off so I got a really good idea. What I want to do today is a little thrifting for a new series where I'm going to upcycle old teas and I'm going to tie dye them. So first off, I was looking for some graphic teas and um, I found this one, which I thought was just so cheesy and so funny. Who gives a shiitake? And I just had to get it because I love the color shiitake by Dharma Trading. It's one of my favorite ice dye colors and I figured okay maybe I can try to reverse dye this one. It's 60% cotton, 40% polyester. Not all of the shirts I got are 100% cotton which is kind of breaking my rule but I figured whatever they were super cheap let's try and see what happens. Next I got this Vans sweatshirt which you can see has already been ice dyed. I ice dyed it at one of my online ice dyeing classes, which I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. This Vans sweatshirt was in great condition, didn't have any pilling or stains at all, it looked like it would never been worn, and it had a really nice heather gray, light heather gray color. I've already worn it a bunch and it's really easy to style, so I'm happy I got this one. Next up is this hot pink number, and of course it says Nike. I think this one would be really fun to reverse dye and maybe over dye. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but I just thought it was a nice quality shirt. It feels like no one ever wore it, and I like the color. Okay, next up, TikTok. Oh my gosh, so it's really oversized, and it feels like it's brand new. No one's ever worn it. Who doesn't love the TikTok logo? I just thought it was kind of funny. And just a reminder, go and follow me on TikTok. So next up, I got two blank white t-shirts that had uh, never been worn. They had the tags on them still. So for a dyer, that is like gold. Uh, it's kind of boring for just like a normal thrift haul video, but for me, finding plain white t-shirts at the thrift store is awesome, especially with no stains and no wear and tear. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you like all things dyeing and DIY. Okay, this might seem kind of random, but I got this gigantic lid. So I do a lot of dyeing with a stock pot and I don't have a lid for it. So this one's too big, but I figured it will cover the entire stock pot for steaming. I didn't have one of these, so I figured oh, let's just pick it up. Again, I found a Another pure white, brand new Fruit of the Loom uh, sweatshirt with a kangaroo pocket. This one is not 100% cotton, but I'm going to experiment with it and see what happens. So yeah, brand new, perfect, gotta get it. Then I found this cute little Ralph Lauren Sport plain black tee, which is also in really good condition. So this one would be good for reverse dyeing or maybe some kind of fabric painting. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Then I got this loft um, tank top that's just sort of like a chambray or a sort of a lightweight denim. It has a really nice drape to it and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it or if I'll do anything. I might do some slow stitching on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna dye this one yet but it's a really cute shirt and it fits real easy breezy, so I figured let's get it. And this is what I'm really excited about. This is a little mini crock pot. It's actually called a potpourri crock, so it's really for potpourri. Uh, it's tiny, as you can see, but I have been wanting to try batik with wax for a really long time. You may have watched some of my glue tie-dye videos, where I use glue as like a resist instead of wax. I think that that is a really great option, but I've been wanting to try batik with real wax. I've done batik eggs with bees 
beeswax on um, Easter eggs and it's a really cool process and I've been really wanting to try it on fabric so now I have a crock pot where I can melt the wax so stay tuned I'm really pumped about this process so I'm doing my try-ons here and I forgot to mention that I also got this white hoodie with the Beverly Hills Racket Club on it. I just thought it was really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna dye it or not yet. Let me know down in the comments, would you guys dye this one and what colors would you do? Next, I got this Nike hoodie with a big stain on it, which now you can't see. Um, I already ice dyed this one and it's going to be next week's tutorial. I'll show you all how I did this one because it was a couple of different processes. So stay tuned for that one. And I've been already wearing this one nonstop. It's like my new favorite sweatshirt. So that concludes today's thrift haul. Some of the pieces have been already thrift flipped and some of them are still to come. So stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a lot of projects with these things and I'm really excited. If you like this video, be sure to watch these other videos that I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you guys next week with a tutorial for this ice dye sweatshirt. And in the meantime, have fun creating. All right, see ya. Bye.